Hey. Just seen old Ma Petty on the stairs. She says she'll be up in a minute. Hmm? What does Dracula's mother want this time? On the scrounge, I shouldn't wonder. On the scrounge, my eye. She's trying to find out something, she is. She's busting her corsets to know why I am going into hospital tomorrow. Well, if you was to tell her you're going in to have your ingrowing toenail fixed, she might stop bothering you. Why should I, the nosy old cow? I think I'll tell her it's something highly infectious. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> I know what. I think we'll have a bit of fun with her. This will give her something to think about. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, about 11 months, I'd say. <laughs> Woo, here, here she, she comes. Is, here she <laughs> Oh, don't stand on ceremony. I mean, just walk straight in, won't you? Good afternoon, Mrs. Shepherd. Hello, love. I thought that the next meeting of the Tenants Association might interest you. Oh, yeah? Uh, you see, the guest speaker will be the president of Alcoholics Anonymous. Oh, really? <laughs> Blaming hell. Is anything the matter, love? I have no idea. Oh, this! Oh, yes. Well, uh, it won't be long now. <laughs> hey, you've quite taken her breath away, Queenie. Oh, she's wondering when Lionel was last home, aren't you, love? Hmm. Come here. Strictly between ourselves, and I wouldn't want this to go any further than these four walls, you understand? You know me, Mrs. Shepherd. Yes. But I'll tell you anyway. It's not Lionel's. <laughs> oh, but uh, who? What? Where? Well, which one do you want first? <laughs> well, who? Ah, well, I'm afraid I can't tell you that, you see. He's not free. You don't mean to say he's enjoying Her Majesty's pleasure? <laughs> like that. No, he's, um, he's got, um, well, responsibilities. You don't mean to say this fellow has got a wife already? I mean, well, where did you first meet him? At the Omen Colonial. <laughs> Near the frozen peas. I remember because there was tuppence off him at the time. Oh, he looked so handsome standing there with his large packet of family size in his hand. <laughs> quite regularly after that. Just let's say that it's one of life's little tragedies. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> I think you've just given birth, Queenie. <laughs> yes, well, uh, I suppose that's your idea of a joke. Yes, didn't you like it, love? I'm afraid, Mrs Shepherd, I find that in the very Awfulest of taste. Oh, close the door on the way out, love. No. I beg your pardon. Uh, close the door. It's the same as open the door, only backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Serves it. <laughs> <a time. laughs> oh dear, I don't know why I'm laughing. I could kill you, Jack Shepherd. Why? What have I done? Well, if you hadn't dropped that bottle on my foot, I wouldn't be going into hospital tomorrow. And I wouldn't have wasted all that beer. Never mind all that beer. What about my toe? Well, it's easy than having a baby, isn't it? <laughs> I, I can't get over the look on her face when she thought I'd just given birth to a cushion. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like our Raymond. Raymond's like a cushion? No. I mean, I wasn't expecting him either. I thought that only happened in the Bible. I mean, he was... <laughs> I mean, he was premature. Oh. Not like Douglas. Now, he was late. I could feel him kicking for ages. So much so, I felt like saying, wipe your feet. Hey? <laughs> oh, you are. I said, wipe your feet. It's bucketing down outside. I'm hardly through the pig in jaw and you're down my throat. <laughs> Why can't you ask me if I had a nice lunch jam? Ah. Oh. I'm sorry, love. Did you have a nice lunch time? No, lousy. Well, then wipe your rotten feet. <laughs> Not on the carpet, you stupid... Oh, I don't know why I bother. <laughs> Where are those layabout brothers of yours? I think they're on the way up. Yeah. 
Reeking of ale, I suppose. Look, three o'clock in the afternoon and he's gone to sleep it off. I don't know. All that lot seem to get out of life is booze and bed sores. That reminds me, I want to look something up in the medical dictionary. What do you want the medical dictionary for? I want to find out all about ingrowing toenails. What for? Because I just want to keep my eye on them down there and see that they do a good job. Queenie, the surgeon will be qualified, you know. Look, those builders down the road are qualified, aren't they? It still didn't stop one of their bungalows from falling down. <laughs> hey, up here come Hannibal and the elephants. Hello, there goes a bottle. Have you just smashed your dinner? It's all right, Mum. It was only the first course. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Be fair, Queenie. They need their kit. Yes. I mean, they're undergoing a very nervous strain at the mm. moment. Oh, and why is that? Well, they're worrying about where they're going to get their next load of brass before opening time tonight. Uh, here. Do you like this nighty? I bought it special to go into hospital. Isn't it pretty? Very nice, I'm sure. Oh, well, you sound absolutely hysterical, you do. I'm not much of an authority on nighties. I'm, I'm more your vest and pants man myself. <laughs> so I've noticed. You know, all this reminds me of the last time I was in hospital. It was when little Bunny was born. I waited two years to have him. Two years? What, you have him on the Never Never? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, when I first found out I was pregnant, I was so excited, I rushed out of the doctor's and I saw Nellie Butler across the other side of the street and I shouted out, I'm pregnant! Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 this before the bear slays me, I think he's very funny indeed. <laughs> Mam's in the club. Christmas or working men's? <laughs> Pudding. You what? What did you say? The stick. Mam's up it. Oh, <laughs> get on. You're off your flaming head. I've just heard her telling Jack. Well, you heard wrong then, didn't you? She's going into hospital, isn't she? That's for an ingrowing toenail. Yeah, that's what she tells us. Well, why should she lie about it? Well, maybe she wants to surprise us. <laughs> oh, Douglas, I know you're a bit young, but it's time me and Bunny had a little word with you. About the facts of life. I know all about the facts of life. I watch Magic Roundabout. <laughs> Look, Douglas, it's like this, you see. When a baby's forming inside Mummy's tummy, it gets bigger and bigger like a balloon. For your information, Mummy's to be don't always have tummies like hundredweight of King Edward's. <laughs> oh, God. All right, then. What about that Brenda Hampton? She had her baby on the top of a number 64 bus. <laughs> and she had to pay an extra fare. <laughs> I mean, well, nobody even knew she was carrying. She didn't even know herself. He's got a point, you know. Of course I have. It's just that some women are bigger, so it doesn't show so much. I've read about it. Why did they print that in the Beano? I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, look, whether you're right or not, I don't believe Mum's in the family way. She's too crafty. Right. All right, go and ask her if you don't believe me. All right, I will. By the way, while I'm in hospital, Mother said she's going to bring one of those kittens round that she promised us. Oh, I hope it doesn't start dropping litters all over the place when it grows up. Mm. Well, that depends on whether it's a boy or a girl. How will you tell? Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I can always have it seen to. Oh, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> She's having one all right. Get on. I'm telling you, I've just heard it with my own eyes. She's wondering whether it's going to be a boy or a girl. Oh, well, it should be one or the other. She said she might have it seen to. <laughs> she was only joking. I don't know so much. The way you two carry on, she'll be doing the right thing. Well, I don't believe it. All right, well, we'll all go and ask her. Right, right then. Go on, I go bet on. you I'm right. I bet you're not. You say I'm dead. Oh, you've never like been right yet in your life. I'm telling you. Where is she? Where's, she? Where's Mum gone? Oh, she's in her room having to lie down. See, I said she'd needed rest in her condition. Oh, shut up. She's not having a heart transplant, you know. We know what she's having. <laughs> yes, she's having an ingrowing toenail removed. Would you like it in writing? It's all right, Jack. Look, you don't have to pretend with us. We know all about it. Well, I should hope you do at your age. Look, Jack, is she or isn't she having one? One what? Ooh. Look, this prune here doesn't believe that Mum's in the family way. 
<laughs> Queenie in the family way? There we are. <laughs> what did I tell you? Well, why isn't she letting on to us then, Jack? Hey? Well, I, I expect she wants it to be a surprise. <laughs> oh. Hey, don't you let on that I told you, will you? Oh, it's all right, Jack. You can rely on us. I know I can. Hey, just think. If it's a boy, I'll have a little baby brother. <laughs> and if it's a girl, you'll be its big sister. <laughs> Wakey wakey! What the? It's lame hell! Time to eat, ma'am. What's all this? That's a little breakfast snack on a special day. A snack? Cornflakes, boiled eggs, bread and butter, coffee? Just light ale. <laughs> no. No? What, what do you mean, no? I don't know what it is you want, but the answer's no. Mum, we don't want anything. Look, now, you eat that, you'll feel a lot better because we've got a nice little food parcel for you to take into hospital. But huh? I'm only going in for a couple of days. Now, ma'am, you're not to rush back on our account. <laughs> you stay in till you're fully, fully recovered. Oh, I will. That's right, ma'am. We know a bit about this stuff, don't we? Yeah. Aye. We saw a film about it, That's didn't right, we? Right. Yeah. You saw a film about ingrowing toenails? <laughs> ingrowing oh, in toenails. toenails. Oh, is funny. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> Come on, oh, you two. Well. We've got to go run a bath for our man. Right. But you what? Hey. What's going on? I don't know. They've gone to run me a bath. I didn't think they knew the where the bathroom was. <laughs> hey, what's all this in aid of? I wish I knew. I'm usually three jumps ahead of that lot, but I can't work this out. I think I can. Um, are you going to eat all this, are you? Do me a favour, Jack. Do you know, for the last 20 years, my breakfast has consisted of a quick cough and a drag in a room that smelt like a Salvation Army hostel. <laughs> this is unadulterated luxury. Well, I can tell you didn't make this. It's two shades lighter. <laughs> you know, they're a funny lot, really. Sometimes I don't think they care tuppence about me, and then all this, I suppose I can't complain. Well, I can. Why? This flaming egg is hard. Yeah. Get your hands off my breakfast, you gutsy gannet. Go and get your own. <laughs> Anything else you want doing, Mum? Uh, no, thanks, no. Isn't the dad coming down, Mum? No, why? Well, we thought you'd like to be here at a time like this. Well, I didn't really want to bother him with it. Well, mightn't he be a bit interested? Oh, don't be daft. He doesn't know anything about it. He doesn't? <laughs> of course not. Anyway, it's nothing to do with him. <laughs> nothing to do with him. You ready, love? Yes, I think that's about it. Right, I'll get the van round. Mind your backs. <coughs> What's up with you lot? Come on, Bunny. Uh, well, excuse us, ma'am, but we would like a word with you, please. Well, can't it wait? I'm just going. It's rather important. I've not got any brass. You'll have to do without. We don't want your money, ma'am. Just a word. Go on. <laughs> yes, well, it's about time we had a little chat, man to man. Well, that's going to be difficult for a start. <laughs> yes, well, you know Douglas and Raymond. Yes, I have had the pleasure of meeting them. <laughs> well, they've elected me spokesman because I can speak a bit proper than what they can like, you know what I mean? I'll get on with it. Right. Well, uh, I'm sure you'll agree that uh, we're all adult people, wouldn't you? Well, as I am not under oath, I refuse to answer that question. <laughs> right, well, I mean, we've all been around for a long time. You a little longer than us, perhaps. We've had our fair share of good times. And there's been a few rough patches. Yeah, you can say that again. But I think we know one another well enough to be completely frank and above board. Do I make myself clear? No. Good. Well, I'm glad we've had this chat, then. <laughs> well, that's it, then, is it? Yes. No, it's not. Carry on. Go on, ask her about the... Uh... Do what? Go on, you bird. Oh, yes, sir, uh, yes. Uh, there's just one more thing, ma'am. Oh, for crying out loud. The man. What man? Is he going to see you all right? Well, of course he is. He's a qualified doctor. Is he? Dr Freeman is going to be looking after me the entire time I'm in hospital. I should be perfectly safe with him. Mm, well, well, that'll make a change. Yeah. Well, can I go now? Yes, ma'am. Right. Just see that you behave yourselves while I'm away. 
And come and see me, won't you? That is, of course, unless visiting hours clash with opening time. <laughs> well, a right fine doctor he is. Puts her up the tub one day, delivers it nine months later. Right. What are we going to do about it? I know what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to stick one on. But, but after she's had the baby, seeing as how he's doing the job, well, I'm trying to work out when it must have happened. Well, Mum would never let anything like this happen, not unless she was drunk out of her mind. Yeah. How many nights last January was she drunk? <laughs> 31. <laughs> That's when it must have happened! I'm sorry I've got to move you to into maternity, Mrs Shepherd, but there's no room for you anywhere else. Oh, that's all right, love. I like babies. Especially when they're other people's. There we are. You can always hand them back when they need changing. Can you manage my yep. Thank you. There we are. Nice and warm now. Have you come to? Yes, fine, thanks. Uh, your stuff's already in the locker. Oh, thank you. And it's visiting time in ten minutes. Right. Okay. Hello, love. I'm Marge. Oh, hello. I'm Queenie. Oh. Have you had yours, then? Yes, I'm going out tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I got a girl. Eight pounds, three ounces. Oh, lovely. What have you got? Three boys. <laughs> <laughs> Triplets? Oh, no. There were several years between them. <laughs> you what? My youngest is 17. Here, what are you trying for? An Olympic gold medal? <laughs> I came in here for an ingrowing toenail. Well, I've heard it called some funny things in my time. <laughs> it's true. Oh, look, love, I didn't arrive on the last banana boat, you know. You're not married, are you? Of course I am. Although I must admit, I don't see him very often. Oh, he works away from home a lot, does he? Yes. I yes. thought so. Look, I think you got hold of the wrong end of the stick. Oh, men. They're all the rotten same. Take advantage of a woman when her back's turned. <laughs> Personally, I think it's very overrated. Uh, how, many, uh, how many other children have you got? This is the tenth. <laughs> oh, no, the eleventh. No, I tell a lie. No, it's only the tenth. Mm. Sounds as though you're the one that's trying for the Olympic gold medal. <laughs> Here, who's responsible, do you know? My brother-in-law, Jack, the clumsy devil. <laughs> Dirty devil, more like. Here we go, where is... Oh, she's Hello, Hello, Mama. Mama. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. How are you feeling, love? Oh, oh great. great. Well, where is it, then? Well, they don't let you keep it. I expect the doctor's got it somewhere. What? Oh, I thought I might like these, ma'am. Oh, I like grapes. No, it's beer. Oh, better still. I've got a mouth like the bottom of a baby's pram. <laughs> Is it all right if I have one, love? Uh, you can have one when we've done what we came to do. What did you come to do? The doctor. <laughs> Why? He did a lovely job. Oh, yeah, we know he did. Where is he? Well, I expect he's on his rounds. His rounds? You mean you're not the only one? <laughs> What are you talking about? Oh, Queenie, love. Sorry I'm late. I nearly forgot your beer, love. Oh, thank you. Well, how are you, then? Uh, a bit bewildered at the moment, Jack. You the brother-in-law, then? Er, uh, yeah, that's right, missus. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Why? What have I done? Can you deny that you're the one who put her in here? Well, I couldn't help it, love. My hand slipped. <laughs> Me hand. Hey, what are you going on about, eh? Don't you come the iron mighty with me, mate. You know what I'm on about, right enough. Hey, who is this old cow? <laughs> morning, everybody. Morning. Oh, morning. 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 How are you, Mrs. Shepherd? Well, I'm not quite sure at the moment, Dr. Freeman. Oh! <laughs> so this is Dr. Freeman, is it? He's big, isn't he? You want a word with your mush? That's right. Uh, you two, take him outside and ask the ear and look after Mum. Well, is it important? I'm supposed to be in casualty. Don't yes. worry, mate. You're shown well, babe. Come out. <laughs> hey, I hope you're satisfied with what you've done to our mother. Well, I don't think she'll have anything to complain about. Do you want a shirt full of broken ribs, mate? I beg your pardon? Hey, and I suppose you're a married man. 
Well, as a matter of fact, I am, yes. Don't, Don't change, change the, the subject. subject. <laughs> what the hell's going on out there? Don't worry, Mum. We're taking care of him. Oh, I nearly forgot. Little present. What? What's that? <laughs> it's a surprise. It certainly will be if it fits me. <laughs> I know I've been talking about going on a diet, but don't you think this is a little bit too small, love? It's not for you, ma'am. Well, who is it for, then? It's for the baby. What flaming baby? The one you've just had. What? You chump. Who ever put that idea into your head? Jack, he told me Jack! <laughs> well, I, I was only pulling their legs, Queenie. You mean that doctor's getting duffed up for nothing? He's what? You, he's what? We thought he was the father. You stupid hooligans! I think I had better have another drink. You wait till I get you home, Jack Shepherd. Ooh, you're a right troublemaker, aren't you? Oh, blimey, nosy knickers is off again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you nosy knickers me? I know your type. <laughs> I'm married to one. You know something, missus? I reckon you're in the wrong ward. What you need is a brain surgeon. <laughs> She's not the only one. <clears throat> Mum, have you got a steak for me eye? No, I haven't. Do you think I'm made of money? There's a tin of cat food in the fridge. Use that. <laughs> Thanks very much. You are a stupid lot. You know, you can think yourselves lucky that Dr Freeman isn't suing all of you. I wish somebody had told me you was a judo expert. <laughs> we was only trying to help. Yes, well, next time you want to help me, emigrate somewhere, will you? You're a bunch of nutcases, all of you. So is that old cow in the next bed? <laughs> she got hold of the wrong end of the stick. She got hold of the wrong end of the bedpan and clobber me with it. <laughs> well, serves you right. Next time you want an answer to an embarrassing question, just ask me. Ma'am, what's conception? <laughs> conception? Yes. Well, it's, uh, uh, isn't it time the telly started? Uh, uh, never mind the telly, what's conception? Well, it's, um, uh, uh, what's that you're reading? A letter. Dear madam, your pregnancy test has proved positive. Conception is confirmed. I haven't had any pregnancy yes, tests. Oh, no, 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 we're going to have a little rubber. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> this has been sent to the wrong address. Hey? It's for old Ma Petty. She's in the club. <laughs> 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 <laughs>